Hello everyone, thank you for joining. The purpose of this video is to show you how to connect everything to your desktop computer before turning it on. This particular computer is a Dell. The bottom two are USB ports that are higher speed than normal. Second two USB ports are regular speed. And then the headset port is for a headset with a built-in microphone or just a headset or just a microphone. On the back, four USB ports, two high speed, two regular speed, network port, display port, HDMI port, and last but not least, your power connection. You want to connect everything to the computer first before you connect power. Sometimes power will, connecting the power will turn the computer on automatically, and sometimes it won't. So, normally what you want to do is get everything situated and make yourself comfortable at your home office. So, those are connected. I'm going to connect the two uh, video connections. One will be the HDMI. I'm using an adapter to HDMI cable from a VGA cable. Second display port connection will be with an actual display port. Um, cable and the button on these shows that it's the top plus it only fits in one way so if you're trying to force it and it's not going anywhere either you have it upside down or trying to put it in the wrong port uh, we're going to connect the network cable you should have one of these you connect your home network and lastly I'm going to connect power but the power cable is kind of short so you have to turn the computer around first so for this, what I'm intending to show, I'm going to place the computer on the left side, I'm sorry, the right side of this monitor. To conserve space, if you wish, if you have a smaller space than this, you can place the computer flat down and use it for a monitor stand. Just make everything as neat as possible and as comfortable as possible to make your work day easier. Last thing, we're going to plug in your headset. That's how you'll take calls. It's also a USB connection. If you have high-speed ports, it will be beneficial to use the high-speed ports because audio information is pretty heavy. So that's it for how to connect everything. You'll see, if you have more than one screen, you'll see at least one screen showing you that it's booting up. And eventually you'll get to the Windows screen, and we've gone over that part in another video. Thanks for watching.